I want to share with you a most beautiful Bible verse. It's from Colossians 1, verse 5. Listen to the words. The lines of purpose in your lives never grow slack. Tightly tied as they are to your future in heaven, kept taut by hope. You know, God has things that God wants you to do and places that God wants you to go. But sometimes God's intentions will be unclear to you. When I was first starting this ministry, they were very unclear to me. I thought that I was to do a newspaper column in the beginning called Positive Christianity and have them in various small newspapers across the country. And when I was praying one day, God told me, no, that's not it at all. You're to do a computer ministry. And to a man that didn't even own a computer, that was a strange answer to prayer, let me tell you. At such times when you're praying, you might ask, where do you want me to go, Lord? What do you want me to do next? I did. And if you earnestly seek God's will for your life, you'll find it in time. And the reason I say in time is because often, if you're like me, your inner mind will fight with the answer that you receive. It won't be the answer you want to hear. It won't be the answer you can understand at the present level of your mind. But as you prayerfully consider God's path in your life, study the instructions in God's word and be ever watchful for God's signs of direction in your life. You'll see. And if your heavenly God doesn't reveal God's plan to you as quickly as you'd like, be patient and have patience perseverance, continually seeking God's purpose for your life. Rest assured, those lines of purpose that I've been talking about, they are there. And if you stay within the lines like a small child coloring a page, you're going to have great success and create something of great beauty. God knows the work that you are to do. And God intends to work through you and in you. God desires to lead you along a path of God's choosing. Your challenge is to watch, to listen, and to follow God wherever God leads. And you'll find that it is heaven on earth when you do. Charles Stanley has said, until your purpose lines up with God's purpose, you'll never be totally happy or completely fulfilled. Well, I pray for you that you are totally happy and completely fulfilled. I pray that you find those lines of purpose and that you listen to God and you follow and you do not think in your human mind that it's impossible or that you can't do it. If God tells you about it, you're the one that can do it. And I pray that you're helped every step of the way in doing it. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.